it looks to be Mfumo, the authority. One of the Birmingham boys. Looks like that wound on his face has opened up a little bit again. Has he been scrapping with the ladies? Oh, is he gonna roar? Giving low contact calls. So to stick with him. So this magnificent big male lion walking next to us. My name is Brent. I've got Rian on camera, and that is Mfumo, the authority. And yeah, shake your head, big boy. So, what a way to start the weekend. Saturday, Catterday, off to a bang with a Birmingham boy. Remember the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or questions at wildearth.tv if you'd like to send us any questions. Now he is moving to the north. I'm hoping he doesn't keep it up at this speed because uh, before the first hour of show, half hour of shows up, he'll be away and gone to the north. Uh, or he could turn to the east or west is what we're hoping. A little sniff sniff and a second mark. He's giving me some good reversing practicing. And, uh, I was a bit, a bit, my reversing left a little bit to be desired as I woke up this morning and, and left the, the carport. So obviously the lions knew I needed some practice. Charlie says, Brent, this doesn't look like the same injury. It's too high up and it's swollen. Charlie, I think it's, it's to do with the same injury. I think he might have got uh, a few more maggots in it. And as you can see, that swelling under his eye. Now, one must remember that male lions are constantly full of nick scratches, or holes and bite marks. It doesn't really affect them too much, but we will be able to see there. Uh, if that swells up again and all the maggots cascade out again. You can definitely see the swelling there. Hey big boy. Always in the wars. You can see almost every bush or whatnot that he comes across so far on this walk of his is scent marking. Except that one, because I tried to predict he was going to do it, so he decided to completely ignore me. Now, Mr. Authority, you are about to be snorted at something fierce. There's some impala behind me who've spotted him from a mile off. And there's one impala there. I can't see if there are any others. You can see that stance and three, two. <gasps> Come on. Where's your snort? It's coming. Okay, don't snort. There we go. <laughs> Now, a single impala is a bit of a, a stretch for a single male lion. Probably a bit too quick and without other members of the pride to coordinate the hunt. Quite difficult. So, generally when li male lions are away from the females on their patrols, as this gentleman is at the moment, 
uh, if they do hunt it's generally larger stuff and um, looking at buffalo or hippo or, uh, or giraffe it's another favorite Morning Marianne. Marianne would like to know, is Mfumo fully grown? How big is he? How old? I would say so. He's a probably, he's over six years old now and he is in his prime. Uh, he weighs probably just under 400 pounds or around 400 pounds. And uh, he's, he's not the biggest male lion I've seen, but he is a beautifully, beautiful specimen. He's got that lovely mane that's starting to darken now. And as he gets older, it's going to darken more and more. Mm, that is the one place we really don't want him to go. So hopefully he just carries on parallel and doesn't drop down into the little ravine system that's here.